The following slides will teach you how to convert text into speech for keynote presentations. How to create a sound file from text in Keynote. Highlight only the text that you want to convert into speech. You may select part or all of the text in a given text block. Only the highlighted text will be converted to audio. Voice and text preview. You can preview the text to speech audio file before you save it. Highlight the text you want to hear spoken. Then right click on it to access the menu. In the center of the first menu, select Speech. Then select Start Speaking in the flyout menu. This will allow you to review the voice and make any necessary corrections to the text before the file is saved. Save the file as spoken text. With the text highlighted, right click on the selected text to access the menu options. Select Services at the bottom of the first menu. This will reveal a second flyout menu where you will select Add to iTunes as a spoken track. When you select this, an options window will appear. Options for saving the audio track. Select System Voice in the Options window to choose a voice for the text to speech conversion file. If you click on the play button, it allows you to preview the sound of the selected voice, however it will not speak the text. This window also allows you to add a custom title for the audio file. It also allows the option of where to save the file. By default it will save your audio file in the music folder of the iTunes application program in Recently Added and in Spoken Text. Select the Continue button to finalize saving the file. A tone will play indicating the file has been saved. Locating Saved Audio Tracks in iTunes Open the iTunes application program. Select the Library module in the top center of the window. In the upper left corner choose Music and select Recently Added from the list of options. Only recent files are displayed in this area. They can be played, copied, and pasted to other locations on your computer. However, some copy restrictions may apply. All text-to-speech files can be viewed by scrolling down and selecting the heading, Spoken Text. Files in this area are in list form, and in chronological order. You can hold the Shift key while selecting multiple files, to copy and paste simultaneously. The following slide will example this process. Open iTunes and scroll to the heading Spoken Text on the left side of the page. A list of files will appear on the right. The most recent file will be at the bottom of the list. Select a file and simply drag it onto the keynote slide of your choice. For the sake of organization, slide the speech icon near the text it represents. You can click on the icon to review the audio file. Save and organize files in the Finder. I highly recommend that you secure a second copy of your text-to-speech audio files to a convenient location on your hard drive. This is a simple task that can be easily performed using the Finder window. This will allow you to organize your files in folders with other assets of a given Keynote project. Open iTunes and click on the spoken text heading as seen in the previous video. Here you can locate all text-to-speech files in the order they were saved. You can also select and copy multiple files simultaneously. You may copy and paste or drag and drop files from iTunes to the Finder window either by using key commands or by using the menu options. Copy and paste or drag and drop. You may copy and paste or drag and drop files from iTunes to the Finder window or to a slide in Keynote, but be aware there are some restrictions. Keynote. You cannot copy and paste a text-to-speech file from iTunes to a slide in Keynote.
it will result in pasting a system generated text file, not an audio file. However, you can drag and drop files from iTunes into a keynote slide with success. Warning! If you are using Adobe Illustrator.ai vector files in your keynote slides, lock them in place before importing speech files from the Finder. If you have the Illustrator graphic selected when importing the speech file, it can result in putting an iTunes icon in place of the Illustrator graphic. I just learned how to convert text into speech. Thank you for watching. If there are other Mac system or application software issues that you would like to see presented, please let us know in the comments.